Boy says, how do you know when a woman is about to say something smart? Classmates, how? Boy replies, when she starts her sentence with, a man once told me. It's funny, right? Nothing harmful about some offensive, passively sexist, immature humour, right? Wrong. Jokes like these are the reason society is failing to equalise women. This misogynistic humour condoning violent sexual behaviour and the objectification of women. It is the very foundation of the misguided representation of women because we are so desensitised to believe that expression of sexist behaviour is normal. So herein begins a lesson from a first-hand witness of discrimination and sexualization. I tell you, I will not shy from this oppression because the conversation begins now. A young girl is reading a magazine that was created for her age, but she will be confronted by the subliminal message that infiltrates the minds of all young women that she is not enough, not whole in the form of her natural beauty, that as she ages she is accustomed to feel worthless, as though she must shape and mould the edges of her body, because they are not satisfactory. Because she lives in a society that oppresses individuality and inspires conformity, a society that glorifies beauty and neglects creativity, intelligence and personality, that preaches one type of impossible image and any less is deemed imperfection enough. What kind of values are we teaching? That every girl must lead a race to exemplify perfection, but in reality this kind of mindset begins with obsession and involves to depression. Girls, I plead for you to embrace the unique gifts of your body, stay wholesome and self-loving which I tell you to embody. Women, I know you still face this exploitation, this unobtainable expectation. Yes, I'm talking about this fucked up representation. But you must learn you possess more value than what is implemented into the minds of society. You do not have to focus on which discredits your self-esteem, focus on your dreams, what compels you to live and desires that ignite you. What is it that you wish to draw from this life of yours? The sad truth is that it doesn't end here, no. I warn you, it extends from irrational representation to sexual objectification. Let me tell you just how wrong it gets. We are familiarised to believe sex sells, but do they tell you so does every woman's sense of identity and value? Strip her bare of her clothes and you're stripping back her humanity. Adverts of part naked women, this is packaged femininity, half the time to sell something irrelevant to the female anatomy. A representation that indoctrinates society to believe a woman has no right to the privacy of her body. That her sex appeal is the foremost important thing she has to offer. And then there's pornography. The source children are so driven to treat as a lesson of sex education, as disturbing as that fact may be. A further implication of a sexual stimulation that is so far from the truth. But who are they to know better when even the media hypersexualizes a woman's body? That when faced by the explicitness of pornography, it is not so confronting after all. That society is so acclimatized to see women naked, women inferior, that a video infused with sexual violence and underlying rape connotation is not so different really. It is the repercussion of this message, the acts which evolve from the subjection of women in the media in reality that are most harmful. I speak for the 603 million women living in countries where domestic violence is not recognised as a crime, for the one in three women on this planet who will be raped or beaten in their lifetime. It is time to change the message. Women, you are not put on this planet solely for men's sexual gratification, ignorant domination and abuse. We have no moral obligation to offer sexual favours or be taken advantage, accepted by some poor justification. We have a right to our own bodies, a right to reject whatever it is they offer, a voice that speaks consent but only if it is our desire. Do not allow them to forcibly take us and think it is their masculine rite of passage, because it does not make them more powerful, more of a person, as they tear away a woman's right of choice for her own body. A woman has a right to protection and freedom. She is just another human being. Do not think she is property to mishandle and abuse because she does not obey or cause frustration. Women, please hear me. If any person asserts that desire to hurt you, take advantage of you or strip you raw of your identity, I hope you walk away to lead a life that offers safety. 
You are undeserving of pain, of neglect or abuse. I promise my fellow women that you are worth living a valuable life to be blessed with and do not believe otherwise. Victims who progress to survivors, I admire your fight and if there is any justice in the world, I hope your experience has been set right. We all need to recognise the impact of our conformity to this irrational social normality and what kind of society that we are creating. We have all become too comfortable with the moral standards of social order, but now ask yourself, how would you feel bringing to this world a baby daughter?